did it! I did it! You ready to go track a deer? If it's yeah. brown, it's down! It, it is down! Oh, farts! Oh, guys! What is happening? Yeah, baby! Holy son of a gun, that's a big one! It's 18 degrees. I'm overdressed as per usual. Celsius. What's up, guys? Welcome back to our episode here at G Outdoors. As you can see, we're outdoors. We're joined by Vanessa. Folks, it's the afternoon. I don't want to sugarcoat it. If it's brown, it's going down. Vanessa's gonna be with the gun. It's opener for muzzleloader season. We actually have muzzleloader before rifle season, but it's five days. We hunted this morning. Now we're at a spot we call Lucky Seven. Hopefully it brings some luck. This is where Vanessa got her buck last year. It's your first day out, so hopefully this buck could be lucky for you. Speaking of lucky, oh boy, were we lucky. On the way in, on the way in, we saw this woman at a nearby property taking a poop. She saw us with two guns and just pulling up her big ass underwear. <laughs> Pretending like nothing. We didn't make eye contact. She thought she laid back on the barn, thought everything was cool. She played it off. No, we saw the whole thing. I wish I had it on the GoPro. So we saw a couple of squirrels, a woman pooping. Now all we need to see is a deer. You guys gotta stay tuned. Side. 
I even forgot my shooting stick. So I just shot Freya and it uh, looks like a perfect shot. Um, she walked maybe like 20 yards in front of me. Tail was flapping and then dropped. Uh, within a minute or two I heard nothing so I'm pretty sure I caught her. I'm gonna back out, go home, feed the kids. <laughs> Mike and I will come back to get it in a bit. Hi, I'm Vanessa and welcome to Jackass. Oh wait, wrong show. <laughs> what? <laughs> she outdoors. <laughs> Guess what? I got it. Vanessa Who got it? Mama got it! Man, we've been hunting real hard trying to get yeah. Vanessa deer. It's been real rough to be honest. It's having two yeah. kids changes the whole game, but yeah. uh, we... We've been alternating too. Five stay home, Mike stays home and... Well, Vanessa's Vanessa? actually lucky because in the I gun season deer. right now yeah, is only a uh, buck, but she has a special doe tag, so we got lucky. There's not many deer left, guys. Yeah. It's public land and uh, let's go track this deer. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. So as you guys can see, this is uh, one of our blinds that we call strip one. I had sat here this morning with Vanessa. We didn't see nothing. It's been a couple times we've been uh, trying to get her a deer. That's it, this afternoon I came back. Mike was with the girls and right around prime time, um, I saw a deer come out from that way. Walked in, it was alone. Literally turned broadside, perfect angle, perfect shot. Oh, and the best part, as I got here, I realized I forgot the shooting stick. So I'm like, oh, do I go to a tree stand so I'll have a rail to shoot from? And then I'm like, no, you, you know what? You said you had a feeling to come here. I had a feeling here, to but... come back here. So I'm like, I'm just gonna freehand it, oh which is what I always complain <laughs> to do. But uh, yeah, so just went freehand and it worked out. It seemed to be a perfect shot. The deer ran off uh, directly in front of me. I would let's say like try. 15 feet. And then so we'll, we'll see if we yeah. find some blood yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. You want me to go back to the blind to see exactly uh, where the tag is? Yeah, here, grab this. So just to give us a... Uh, it's always good when it gets dark. Go back to the point and, you know, I always tell her, or Marco, I tell everybody, if you guys, if you guys, Try remembering when you shot the deer, mm -hmm. a fixed tree, a big tree, uh, something unique because you need a point of depart yeah. departure to basically try finding that deer. So uh -huh. once she sits back in that blind, you have something to say? Yeah. I find it and pop up things behind me. Somebody has to play behind me, I... but I still have to hold my hand. Okay, but you want to track it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. okay. We're running towards the edge. Then. Yeah. To the left of that big tree. Oh, you see that, Dad? Some hair right there, so we're definitely on the right track. Oh, look, here's, here's a. You can see it was running. See this? You see that? You can actually see the. You see the footprints are deeper. Yeah. Okay. A lot of times, uh, the blood only starts after 50, 60 yards. So only about 20, 30. It's more left. Yes, it angles to the left of that. This would follow. This follows exactly. You would find the shed. I'm not coming any blood anymore. But the trail goes this way. Like here, I can't tell it much. Six marks or anything. Oh, it's right there. It's right here. Sorry, he moved a little bit because I saw his How tail. How the hell is there no blood? But the angle... There it is. Congratulations, Vanessa. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. You guys said if it's brown, it's done. At this point, that you I needed know. to take care of the kids. It's just it's really hard to get the kids watched all the time. So, Rihanna, you see what's there? Mm-hmm. Is the deer? And he's on a huge deer right That's here. That's the out angle. What? Well, yeah, you shot yeah. him on the other on, on the, the other side, end. right? Yeah. Once we don't have young little kids or a little baby at home who needs me, then I'm gonna go with just bucks. Next <laughs> year, you're gonna see. <laughs> let, let, let's start by we had to resort. Because my dad shot the biggest buck. Yeah. And we had no other, we literally had to resort to shooting spikes because that's did what you was say? available. Repeat that again? I said, you shot our biggest buck, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's a good thing, guys. We want to, I'd rather it be one of us. I'm so happy about it. And you know what? Like I said, we have 16 truck cameras. We're monitoring the heck out of these woods, public land, and the amount of hunters lately, it doesn't make sense. Like the deer herd can't even yeah, suffice. But you know what? We're filling up the freezer. Some tender meat. We are tagged out. 
four We're tags. We have Vanessa, my dad, Marco, and me all tagged out, Bri. And this is gonna make it official over here. Thank you for your life, buddy, so we can have healthy right. meat in the you freezer. See, Bri, we say thank you for it giving us life so we could eat so good. Welcome back, guys. Unfortunately, we didn't get to film uh, the, her shooting that deer because yeah. obviously she had to wait for a day that me and Marco worked with her. But hey, we just yeah. want to say congrats to Vanessa for making an awesome shot once again. Yeah. And now, guys, I love mayo. That's mustard. <laughs> And now, guys, it's time to show you what we want to make with this little So dessert. let's stop talking. Let's get straight to the recipe. Because it's mama in the kitchen right now, we are going to make a kid-friendly venison recipe. So I'm going to make a meatloaf, and you're going to see it's going to be plated super cool for kids, with a mashed potato volcano. So you're going to need venison minced meat, yeah. one egg, yeah. some milk, yeah. breadcrumbs, yeah. ketchup, mm -hmm. two scoops of brown sugar, two spoons of mustard also, and then some salt and pepper to taste yeah. in the meat. And this I uh, pre-buttered so that yeah. the meatloaf does not stick into the pan. And you're gonna put the oven at 350. Yeah. Sorry, and you're gonna wanna make sure your little one is not clipping you in the ankle. Well, I'm hi, Madison. <laughs> What's going Ow. on? <laughs> Whoa. And I'm only wearing gloves because so I just got my nails done. Didn't want dirty them. What a girl. There you go. You can crack it open. Hey. Okay. Perfect. Hope you like eggshell in your meatloaf. No, I'm joking, you did great, Brie. One cup of milk. This is a bit more than one cup, but you know. And cooking with Vanessa, I am like the messiest, most disorganized cook. So it's just, everything's kind of like whatever. Uh, regular meatloaf, you're also supposed to leave like the layer of sauce on the top. I mix everything in together. One cup of bread. Okay, put in some salt. Pepper, ketchup, I'm pretty sure it's one third of a cup of ketchup. One, two. Is it good? Two spoons of the sugar. Mommy's gonna do this so it doesn't spill everywhere. It looks like sand. It does look like sand. Definitely not sand. We do no. not put sand in our food, guys. And now, the big mix. Madison has something to say here, guys. What? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Have a nice wet meat over here. Yeah. Can I try it, Mom? No, no, no. No, no. you can't try raw meat. This is not cake batter. So you are just gonna put your meatloaf into the meatloaf pan, and then we are gonna put it into the oven for one hour at yeah. 350 degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. It's ready. Here we are. Yum. Yummy, yummy. The gravy, or as you're gonna see it be the lava. All right, so we are gonna show you how to make the kid's plate. I have to take out a few pieces because they're also super messy. Got some, sta uh, some shapers. We're gonna make some heart meat for Brianna. If you have a dinosaur shaper, would be even cooler to go with the mashed potato volcano. Got make some hearts her. over here. Some peas on the side. Yeah. And I just cook those with oil and some Italian spice. We're gonna make a mashed potato mountain right here. With the back of your spatula, just make the inside of the volcano. And there is your lava in the volcano for the kiddos. You wanna try it, Bree? See if, if we, see if it's good? You wanna do a taste test for the viewers? What would you wanna taste first? The meat. And what's the verdict? Good. It's good? Is it yummy? Do you like your little heart meat? It's good. It's good? Do you think other uh, hunters kids are gonna like it? Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, so that's it. That was a quick recipe at the end of the video. Hope you enjoy. Meatloaf for the little ones. Even for babies, you can have it. Even for babies, definitely. All right, and we're off to have dinner. Uh -huh. The timer rang, so it's time to eat. See you soon. Bye, see ya.